Welcome to this lecture on optimal angle for solar installations. In this lecture, some of the information that has already been delivered will be repeated. And this is to consolidate old concepts and amalgamate them with some new information. Firstly, we define two terms. Number one, the azimuth angle and number two, the inclination angle. The azimuth angle refers to the orientation with respect to the geographical south. Or in other words, it is the angle measured clockwise from due south direction. Therefore, if a solar panel is facing south, it is its azimuth angle is zero. If it is facing west, the azimuth angle is 90. If it's facing north, uh, the angle azimuth angle is 180 and if it's facing east the azimuth angle will be 270 degrees. Now the second angle is the inclination angle. The inclination angle is the angle of the panel from the horizontal. Therefore if a panel is lying flat on the floor its inclination is zero. If it's vertical its inclination is 90. It should be noted that for lower latitudes, the inclination angle generally is kept low. For higher latitudes locations, for higher latitude regions, the inclination angle for any solar collector is much higher. And this fact will be explored in more detail in the later lectures. Similarly, the position of the sun in the sky can also be defined with two angles. However, it should be noted that the inclination of the sun is sometimes measured from the vertical instead of the horizontal. That is, the sun inclination is measured sometimes from the zenith. Now, this lecture is applicable to all types of solar receivers, be it solar PV panels, solar water heaters, or solar cookers, etc. So, so far it has been established that in the northern hemisphere the orientation of a solar receiver should be such that it should be facing south. On the other hand, in the southern hemisphere the receiver should be made to face north and this will be clearer if one observes the sun path diagrams. There may be situation where the panel angle may be changed slightly due to localized obstacles. For example, in certain location where there is a hill located or where there is fog in the morning, the panel in the northern hemisphere may be tilted slightly to face southeast or the southwest direction. However, the general rule is for the panel to face due far south in northern hemisphere and vice versa in the southern hemisphere. So now let's discuss the best angle for installations. There are two types of installation. Number one that are tracking the sun and number two the ones that are fixed. Tracking systems allow installation to orient themselves such that the sun rays are perpendicular to the panel for almost all the time. It should be noted that sun rays are the, at their most potent when they are normal to the receiving surface. They penetrate the glass cover better and they also get absorbed better by the receiver. Tracking systems generally pay their added installation costs within a period of four years because they can provide additional solar gain of more than 30% depending upon their location. However, often tracking systems cannot be installed, such as for panels on pitch roof or because of higher system costs. If the limitations are that the panels have to be installed at a fixed angle, then choosing the correct angle of inclination becomes very important. To examine how important it is to have the optimal angle, let us look at a chart first. Now, in this chart, different curves indicate different angles of the receiver and the solar insulation received on them over a period of time. One can notice that higher angle during winter time gets more solar gain, while during the summer time, 
lower angle receives more solar gain. And this is in line with the fact that sun rises high on the sky during the summer times while during winter times it remains close to the horizon. So ideally the angle of the receiver should be low during the summer time, the inclination angle, while the inclination angle should be high during winter times. So for all fixed tilt receivers, the correct angle of installation is basically the angle at which the sun rays for that particular location are perpendicular to the panel for most time during the year. Generally, a thumb rule exists among the installers that 0.9 times the latitude of a location can provide the value of the best angle. So 0.9 times the latitude. And although it is to an extent true, but it is a very crude approximation. So for example, if one is to install solar panels in Paris, let's say, then the latitude of Paris can be found on the internet and the latitude is 48.8 degrees north. And therefore the optimal angle from the thumb, thumb rule will be 0.9 times 48.8 which would be about 44 degrees. Pitch roofs in Paris suburbs are mostly at 45 degrees so installation parallel to the pitch roof would be close enough to the optimal angle or the thumb rule optimal angle. There is another way through which solar gain can be increased and this can be done by changing the angle twice. And this angle is changed at the point when seasons are changing. That is during uh, spring and summer, uh, sorry, spring and autumn equinox. Again, experts have suggested that increasing the angle by 15 degrees during the winter and decreasing it by up to 15 degrees during the summer can improve the solar gain substantially. And for this purpose, special brackets can be used, similar to tripods, which allow the angle to be changed. These brackets can be fabricated easily through a liver pin mechanism, and they do not add much cost uh, to the system compared to the normal brackets. Now there are two other ways in which the best angle for uh, location can be estimated. The optimal inclination angle can be estimated. The first method requires a detailed spreadsheet calculation using the MET data for hourly radiation. And this method is by far the most accurate but is, it is beyond the scope of this course. There is another method which is a simple formula and the formula is as, as follows. The optimal angle is equal to 3.7 degrees plus 0 0.69 times the latitude. This formula has been suggested by the Handbook of Photovoltaic Science and Engineering and produces slightly better results than 0.9 times the latitude thumb rule. And with this information, the lecture on the optimal angle for maximizing gain is concluded. Thank you for your attention.